It's normal Sunday, you know, getting the kids' school stuff ready for school, put that in the washer, and then obviously with it being Christmas, they always wanted to watch the Christmas film, so we sat to watch one. And we were just sat there, all of us on the couch, and it was our Kayla turned around and said, I can sell some it. Well, I couldn't smell now, but I thought I'd better check anyway. I opened the laundry room door, and that was it. The washer was just flames. I got the kids straight out, got the dogs out, went back in, and it was just coming through to the kitchen. I was just watching my kids' lives burn away. And I couldn't do it, I was out of my control, could not do anything about. The laundry room was gone, downstairs bathroom was gone, the kitchen was gone, the living room was severe smoke damage, the bedrooms were black. He pulled the duvet back and it was just black everywhere. Sentimental photos of the kids, stuff from when they were born, obviously all their toys, clothes. We couldn't rescue anything. And as a mother, when your little girl's crying because she wants a comfort blanket, what you can never get again, it hurts. And it just feels like it's my fault. It's hard trying to replace what they had, because how can you replace 12 years of a child's life? You cannot. And obviously as a mother, you do think, what if, what if, what if? You do think like that as a mother. And that's all I did for days is what if. Sometimes I'll go up bed in the shower that can smell smoke and I go around the whole house and it's nothing. You know, we've got extra smoke alarms up as well now. But it does affect them still and it probably will do for a long time. And then obviously I, I was going everywhere trying to find a house for them. Just so they had a roof over their head, somewhere to call home again, somewhere where we can rebuild our, our lives back. In the end we raised enough to put a deposit down on the house and the bond and the first month's rent and everything. So if it wasn't for the people who donated to that, me and the kids wouldn't have a house. I'm that paranoid now that it's going to go up. I don't leave the kitchen. So when I wash, I sit in the kitchen until it's finished. And I have the back door unlocked ready for the kids to get out. I know it sounds silly, but that's what it's done to us.